Digimon battle, I bet. Minamo. Looks like I'm going to have to dispatch my first visitors. I knew she seemed too willing to talk. She never intended to let us leave here. Mirror Reflection. Hmm. Okay, now that I've healed the SP... Going forward, this battle should be easy to handle. Hmm. Oh, wait, he has Mirror Reflection. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Oh, that's nothing. Bang Strike. Okay, one down. And Cyber Jermon's gonna get all the credit. Okay, never mind. That's moot. I'm really worried that I'm going to have to undo all my evolutions because of the ABI in there in the Digimon. It's very low. I've always wanted to live in an aquarium. Especially that aquarium. It's a tall building, like a seabed for the sky. You have some attachment to that aquarium. So many memories. I went all the time as a child, at least once a week. It's also where I went on my first date. But they're going to have a major renovation soon. Yeah, we heard about that. I was shocked when the final design was announced. It looked more like a nightclub or casino. They're going to have pop groups singing with tropical fish. Don't you think that's tacky? Ah, oh, I really feel like... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. It's the way things are now. The aquarium needs to keep up with the times. thought about starting a petition to keep the aquarium that the way it is. Though they probably wouldn't take any real notice. Things never go my way in the real world. So I decided to preserve it by myself. Just as it had always been, and just as how I remember it. I kept thinking of ways to make the aquarium mine. Kept trying to think of ways. When it's all, when all is that, ugh, when all is said and done, you don't, you didn't intend to cause any trouble. You just wanted to recreate the aquarium. That's right, but we can't just look the other way. Memories aren't about preserving data. There's something you keep inside you for the rest of your life. Maybe you're right. I'm going to report me. And just do it. Ah. Uh, The aquarium will send payment. I hope it turns out to be nothing wrong. I met the perpetrator. Can't go into detail, but she's a daughter of a wealthy man. He recently passed away and left her his entire fortune. She hired people to steal the exhibits and hack the security. Surely there's no evidence. Exactly. That's why the aquarium has dropped the complaint. It receives extremely rare creatures from other aquariums and research institutes around the world for special exhibitions and the like. And any rumors of security problems would put an end to that. Now we know who was behind it all. After being arrested, she promised she'd never do it again. The aquarium just wants to leave it at that. She'll be released tomorrow. Sir. Come on, Ryuji. I know how you feel, but we have no other choice. No one was hurt, and no actual damage was caused. I'm sure you agree she's learned her lesson. How could you release her so soon? She's not being charged. We can't just hold her. If not tomorrow, she'll be out in a few days. Call the aquarium manager right now. Why? I'm going to the aquarium wait here. What? Uh, did I miss something? We found a nasty little surprise. Oh, boy. Erica, she's a hacker just like us. Plastic explosives set to be detonated remotely at any time. Ooh! They were attached to the undersides of the tanks that were returned. They're small, but detonating them at once would... Wow, level the place. How'd you know they'd be there? I suspected it right from the start. She created an exact copy of the aquarium in her own private cyberspace. It was as if she would confine time and space itself, as well as herself. I had to ask myself what someone of that mindset would do once they've accomplished everything they'd set out to do. What did she intend to do? She tr they. I feared that she'd try to keep the aquarium all to herself. 
by destroying the one in the real world even though she knew it's about to be renovated? Don't look so worried. Unless she actually presses the detonator, everything I said is nothing more than a theory. We don't have any evidence that she planted the explosive. Once again, she, we can't pin anything on her. By now, she's probably moved the virtual aquarium to a small server and disappeared off to somewhere far away from here. I'm annoyed we can't hold her to account, but at least nothing will happen to the aquarium if she presses the detonator now. The only positive is that no one's been hurt in all this. Wow. Nothing will happen to the aquarium if she presses the detonator. However, there might be a catastrophic result somewhere else instead. Whoa, where else? What's he talking about? Oh, okay. Where the fuck do we find these people? Memories aren't about preserving data. There's something you keep inside you for the rest of your life. What did he mean by that? Nonsense. This is where I'm going to stay for the rest of my life. I may be missing a few touches, but it's all mine. When I press this detonator, my aquarium will be the only one like it in the world. Hee hee hee. Don't press the detonator. She's going to do it. Deletion program activate. All data in the cyberspace will be erased. Please log off immediately. I repeat. Deletion program activated. All data in the cyberspace will be erased. What's going on? All the data will be erased. Go! Her aquarium. You want to know what happened to that girl? Oh boy, she was deleted. Install the program to delete all that data in cyberspace. I linked the execution key to the detonation signal for the explosive she planted in the real aquarium. That's all I did. Memories aren't about preserving data. You keep them inside you. Maybe I'm naive, but because of this high-tech age we live in, that's what I truly believe. Do you think I got through to her? I wonder if she could resist pressing the detonator. Is she dead? Probably. Ooh. That's pretty dark. There are some people who just don't want to let things go. Let me go visit the, uh, Digilab. But first... What... Digimon... That, okay. Earth Attributes, my guess. Oriental Martial Arts. Um, I actually don't... I'm gonna say Lobamon. I'm not really interested in answering these questions correctly. <gasps> Yuko! The massive piles of sandwiches and waffles look like they hit the roof. Okay, let's go to the lab. First this. Okay. Next this. I'm going to expand the second farm, not the first. Or could I expand again? Hmm. Let's expand again. I don't think I can expand anymore. Nope. How much yen do I have? You know what? I'll buy another one. Yeah, I gotta buy developer know-hows. I have enough for two. I'm not gonna get one more. I don't want to bankrupt myself. So you know what? Here's what I could do. I could just put it over here. Farm goods, developer know-how. There we go. What I'm going to do is charge my Digimon with the task of developing new items. Okay. Can I evolve anybody here? Agurumon. I want to get Gold Numamon. I want to get this Digimon here, this one, because I can DNA Digivolve into something else. Should have like two XB Mons, two Sting Mons, that'd be awesome. I 
Okay. Let's go to the PC. Let's take the case. The person, the mystery person appearing in Aiki Bukuro. Rumors of Mr. Navit. Is he a, is he different from Eden's Mr. Navit? The client's nickname is Vice President of the Golden Dawn. Case has a mystery. I've been asked to find Mr. Navit, so I'll collect information. Okay. This is a weird one. Okay. Okay, I can't get anything out of these people. So it doesn't look like they have anything to say. Oh yeah, I can change clothes. Mm, not right now. Nokia. I'm not really interested in Nokia's clothes. Okay. Now who can I ask? Mr. Navit. Maybe I can find answers near the aquarium. Okay, maybe not. Let's try the other side, other half of this little town. Big town. Mr. Navit, let's see. Urban legend. Nope. About her. Indecisive woman. Mr. Navit, is that any type of coffee? That's not it. Who else can I ask around here? Maybe this guy. To know anything that'll go viral. It's a viral video. <laughs> the weirdo wearing a Mr. Navid hat, right? I saw him in front of a cell phone shop. I posted it online and everyone went crazy about it. Okay, well, is this it? According to the information, Mr. Navid... Yeah, cell phone shop. The mobile store, right there. I don't think he'll be so easy to find. Oh, it's a guy in a Mr. Navid costume. It's doing something. What's he doing? What? What's that? I'm scared, Mommy. It made him cry. What did you do to my son? She yelled at it. It knelt down. They're running away because they're scared. Oh, it's turning to me. Oh, great. It looked at me. What the coming up to me. Battle it, battle it, or run away. Run away! It's following me. I'll hide it, Hudy. Hide it, Hudy, hide it, Hudy. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna get me. Shouldn't follow me inside. R. The hell? They say anyone who gets, sees him gets overcome by fear and joy. Is this really happening? It looks like Mr. Navit, but it's not Mr. Navit. Just like the eyewitness accounts. It's really him. It gives me the creeps. His arms and legs are human. It looks like someone deliberately tried to make a terrible costume. Who are you? Why are you here? May, cut that out. It's just someone dressed in a costume to promote eat them, Eden. Let them get on with their job. No, it's not. That's not how it looks. You're an alien, huh? It's a person. There's someone clearly inside. You're wasting your breath, Manaka. There's no stopping May when she gets like this. Tell me if I'm going too fast. Tagna Sula Cosmota. Tagna Sula Cosmota. The spell for summoning aliens. Vanya Vina Digas Mandi. I don't want to say this. Well, what's that? Are you in a bad mood? Someone's jealous of what? Sorry to disturb you. Nothing, it's just that it's gone. And no one's arresting this thing? No, Mr. Navit, this is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Can't let it slip through our fingers. Seriously, you're telling me that the police aren't doing anything about this? 